Tokyo Jami towers over one of the most popular residential areas of Japan. It's a mosque that Maryam Yumi Abzaid enjoys visiting during Ramadan. She converted to Islam about 10 years ago while studying Arabic. But she sometimes finds it difficult to explain her religion to others. I attended a Christian school as a kid, but it wasn't my will. So I was more like a person with no religion, like most Japanese. Most people don't understand why I'm wearing a headscarf, so they ask me a lot of questions. I eventually got tired of explaining, so I sometimes say that it's for fashion purposes. Ramadan can be difficult to observe in Japan, where there aren't many Muslims. Only about 100,000 in the whole country. Most of them are expats. Many of them come to this mosque to avoid spending the month of fasting alone. On a regular weekday, only a few people take part in prayers. But during the month of Ramadan, the number can go up to as many as 2,000. But there are still some challenges. While Tokyo Jami promotes cultural exchanges, getting non-Muslims to understand Ramadan can sometimes be difficult. My friends wonder why I don't eat, but I just keep on telling them that I just don't that I'm on a diet or something. For much of Japanese history, there was little or no direct contact with the Islamic world. These days, though, the mosque reaches out to the community by providing free iftar like this every weekend to break people's fast. And you don't have to be a Muslim to enjoy the meal. Their effort is slowly but steadily paying off. Thanks to the nation's booming tourism, halal foods and prayer rooms are gradually popping up in hotels, restaurants and even some companies in Japan. And events like Iftar at Tokyo Jami help to foster ties between people who enjoy other cultures. Mayushida, TRT World, Tokyo.